Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. Today, it's such a gloomy day. It's like pouring rain out and I'm currently on the way to the Park Hotel to meet up with the Karastas team. They are kindly taking what I assume is a group of us down to Abbotsford, up to Abbotsford? Out to Abbotsford to go to a flower farm, but like I said, it's pouring rain. So we'll see what the day holds for us. It might be a wet one, but um, yeah, I'm really excited. The last time I went to an event with Karastas, they took us to the Scandinavian Spa, which was amazing. So they always put on such good events and it's really fun to take like a little day trip. So that's what we're doing. this entire time but I will give you a full update but this is my bouquet matches my dress which matches the product <laughs> and yeah it makes me really excited for fall all the colors are so pretty I've never seen so many flowers and so much color at a flower farm it's gorgeous so so pretty and I'm so happy with it yay I'm dripping water everywhere Okay, hello friends, we are home now. Cody picked me up and I just cannot stop staring at this freaking bouquet of flowers. I am so impressed with it. The color of it is just like so stunning, all the different textures. I'm obsessed. I don't think I've ever put something more beautiful together and the diversity of flowers at this flower farm, I will put their like Instagram or their website down below because it was so cool. And if you live in the area and you wanna do like a flower workshop, highly recommend. The owner was like so sweet and they just have such a variety. It was so cool, such a great event. I'm so excited to use the Kerastas products. I realized that I have used the Nutriv, nu Nutriv? I don't know how you pronounce it, but I've used the line before and it's really, really good. So I'm excited to have a few more products. I actually haven't even looked in this goodie bag. So we have the Nutriv uh, Supplement Split End Serum. Very excited to try this. Uh, my hair is very crisp right now, just from summer, and I'm getting it done next month. So I'm definitely going to use that. This is the Scalp Serum. That sounds lovely. And then this is actually the product I've used before. This is the Eight Hour Magic Night Serum. You can apply this on dry or damp hair and it's really, really nice. And they gave all of that to us in these little like grocery bags, which is so cute. Such a stunning event. I had such a good time. I feel like Kerastas really put so much effort and thought and detail into their events and educating us on their products, which is always really nice, especially because it is a luxe brand. And there was so many people from Brush Salon there, like um, the owners of the salon and Sarah, who is like a celeb hairstylist in Vancouver. She was there talking about her hair extension brand, which you guys probably know I don't wear hair extensions, but it was super cool to learn about them. And just had a really good time like chatting with new people, getting to know others, picking flowers. It was honestly such a lovely day and the weather was pretty shit, but now the sun is out, which is really funny, but I think it would have been way too hot if we were like doing this all out in the sun. I only had one coffee today, so we stopped at Starbucks on the way home because I was starting to get a headache, so. Also, when we got home, there was a big package waiting for us and it has a fragile sticker on it, so we'll see what it is. What the heck is this? What? I think it's a cooler. <gasps> Bali water vodka beverages. Oh my goodness. Look at this cooler. That is heavy duty. It also has like cup holder little slots on the top. <gasps> wow, that's tough. That's a real seal proof. What are the flavors? Watermelon, pineapple, coconut water, and mango. Those look really good. Please tell me I'm not the only one that before their period gets so incredibly irritated. Like I just feel like I'm a bomb ready to be set off at any moment. I've already cried today and I kind of just want to talk about it. It's like the only thing I can think of right now. And it's because on antidepressants, I was like so aware prior to going on of them of my PMDD, which is like the PMS 
heightened symptoms that happen before you get your period and the past couple periods I've like noticed them <clears throat> and I usually typically have a day like this where I'm just like so irritated but today seems like it's on another level and I just feel like I should be going to rumble and punching the shit out of a bag because I just I feel so irritated that's like the best way to describe it like Snix was coming up to me and like putting his nose on me and I'm just like do not touch me right now <laughs> like I just can't handle it and I just feel so affected by it and I'm really hoping it's only today that this like lasts but this is probably the worst it's been since I've come off of my meds and it makes me wonder like should I go back on them because this is just simply no way to live and yeah I just feel like my whole day I'm like trying to take deep breaths and like manage it but it is posing to be quite difficult I feel like I'm also just like hypersensitive to a lot of things right now our air conditioner pretty much like stopped working or at least it's not being as cool as it once was and so I just feel so warm all the time and like sticky in the apartment and so I don't really want to buy a new air conditioner but we might have to because I simply cannot live like this it's really really frustrating it makes it really difficult to film or like film any content because I just hate being hot and sweaty I much prefer being cold I've come to the realization um and yeah, so that's been another problem I've been dealing with. I wanted to put on like a little bit of makeup because I have to go run some errands, like run to the post office, mail out a giveaway prize. I need to go check HomeSense for something in particular. And then I need to do a Zara return, which is super unfortunate because the thing I bought was this really cute, I'll insert a picture, pink blazer. And I ordered it in a medium and it was so tight. It was like definitely fit more of a smaller just like is more fitted and I definitely need like a larger and extra large so that really sucks because I've been wanting that for a while and it finally went on sale but alas it doesn't fit so maybe I'll get lucky and I'll have one in store I also really was hoping to have this like drawer system figured out by now I just keep putting it off because I'm confused on where things should go and like I feel like I want to film it but I also can't really film it unless I know what I'm doing myself so I don't know maybe I'll get to that tonight Maybe I won't. <laughs> I don't know. Everything's just such a mess right now. And I truly know it's all like my emotions and my feelings. And that sucks because it feels like every single time I'm on like my cycle, it's like the week before my period. I feel like I need to like take it off because I can't like handle anything. And that's just like not the way life works, unfortunately. And yeah, it's been tough navigating it, as you can tell by the shakiness in my voice. Also, too, I feel like maybe something is in retrograde because there has just been a plethora of bad news that has like come around me lately like it just feels like one thing after another that doesn't like directly affect me but I'm also like empathetic for and it just feels like it's like seriously one thing after another and it's like I feel like everyone's going through a lot right now and I don't know if that's like true to you but like if it is please let me know because it really does feel like everyone's kind of like going through something kind of catastrophic at the moment and it's like it's a lot. That is my like four minute going out in the world makeup look that if I want to do something that like makes me feel a little bit better, then this is what I do, but it's not very much. Also too, the only thing I've been wanting to wear lately is like one pieces because I find them so much easier and Smash and Tess sent me this one. It's from their new Barbie collection. So it has like a little pink tag here. It's so cute. Their previous design didn't have this like cinched little kind of detail and it's really really nice and it fits really well so I'm super excited to have this and their stuff is just really good so if you've been looking for like a one piece this one's really cute they have like a bunch of other cute things from the Barbie collection but this is definitely something I'm going to get a ton of use out of. from the sweat but truly sometimes you just need a little bit of Starbucks and some retail therapy to put you in a better mood I feel so much better after just kind of walking around and shopping went to like indigo they had some like fall stuff already which is crazy and then I popped into airy and this message was on the curtain before you like move it to see the mirror and I think that that's so great and it was just a nice little reminder especially when you're bra shopping I thought that that was really nice and yeah that was just a sweet little moment just in an hour I feel a lot better. Oh my God, today I got Taylor Swift tickets and I'm so happy. I have been 
what I feel like keeping quiet <laughs> about my desire to go to the Eras tour. If you didn't know, I feel like my close friends knew, um, that I was keeping the weekend. She was in Seattle really open, you know, just in case something were to happen. And the truth of the matter was the tickets were just far too expensive resale. And so I kind of just like didn't listen to Taylor Swift on the radio or listen to Speak Now, Taylor's version, like that entire weekend, which was really hard for me um, because I was just really sad. And so then when they announced the Toronto dates, I was actually at the lake with my family and my 13 year old niece wanted to go and my sister-in-law. And so I was like, okay, we should all go together and like obviously just like try and get tickets. And so pretty well every single family member at the lake signed up to get a presale code and luckily my dad was the only one that got one which is absolutely crazy because i'm pretty sure he created his Ticketmaster account like this year the whole verified fan thing is like just kind of annoying and frustrating on its own but we won't get into that and so yeah we got a code and i was like okay it's game time this is on me i am the master of the tickets i will get these this is the hunger games let's go i already had practiced like the previous week getting jonas brothers tickets because it was the same deal of like getting the verified fan getting the code waiting in the queue, doing all the things. And the reason I wanna like tell you guys this actual story of how I got the tickets, some of you were like, this is the most boring shit ever and I apologize. But for those of you that are maybe still wanting to get tickets, hopefully this part is helpful. So basically I had been watching all of the TikToks to see what was happening and luckily I was on the third day of the ticket release. So I already had like friends that had gotten in, like one friend, I do not know very many people that got pre-sale codes or verified fan codes. I say pre-sale even though it's just like sale code. So I basically just was taking some knowledge from TikTok and from my friends and stuff. And this was my strategy. Okay, so I used my dad's account. I logged into his Ticketmaster and I made sure he had two forms of payment. I had my credit card and his credit card as a backup. I had access to his phone. My mom was up at the same time that I was trying to get tickets just in case I needed to get verified on that phone because I had switched my phone number in the Ticketmaster account to mine, but he was the one that still got the verified fan code and so he was able to like obviously forward that to me and so when it came time to I was up at 7 because the tickets were going on sale at 11 a.m eastern time and in pacific time that's eight o'clock so I woke up at seven had a coffee got myself situated and I do want to say that the day before I had to poke around and really decided like what section I wanted to go in obviously budget is a big factor to this part as well and so I went to like other events that were happening at the Rogers Center in Toronto and looking at what sections what the views were and just how fast I was able to move in and out of the seat map Typically for every concert that I've been to recently, I've been able to pick my seats and I found that to be the fastest method. And so I was a little bit nervous when people were saying that they were just going by the best available on the side because I'm like, that is so scary. I'd rather just be able to pick my seats and go. And so, yeah, I had a poke around. I even printed out the arena. I'll get, actually grab my sheet. I also am a little bit superstitious of telling people things before it happens. So I didn't want to film it just in the off chance I didn't get them and I was sad. I probably should have, but that's just the way my brain works. Anyway, so at the top here of the seating chart, I have you will get Taylor Swift tickets. Um, and then I had my try and avoid what was the floor, my ideal sections, and just kind of wrote out. It printed like color, so it was kind of ugly. And yeah, so I had this sitting beside me, which which was really good but like I said I went in to Ticketmaster and looked at how Ticketmaster kind of works and one of the biggest things I practiced <laughs> sounds so stupid but I practice going in and out of the seating map because like I said that's the best way that I've gotten tickets previously so I kind of learned how to like zoom out zoom in wait for it to like properly zoom in it'll go there for you kind of thing and so if you click on the section it like just takes you right there and then I was able to click seats and I like definitely like did the practice test so I was like and go okay zoom in click 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 and get out and check out and like see how long it would take me so I was like, you know, I was training. I was really training for this opportunity because I knew that I'd get it. Like I just, I had confidence and I just, I wanted to have everything perfectly ready. Okay, so I woke up, got my computer all situated, had my seating chart. I also made Cody turn off the Wi-Fi on his phone as well as mine so I could have like full range of that internet. Obviously closed all my tabs. I had my mom up on FaceTime and I was just waiting to get let into the queue. Sorry, no, I was waiting in the waiting room. So at like 7.30 I was let into the waiting room and I was just like chilling. I was like, okay, nice countdown. Manifestations were coming out of my mouth. My mom was like, what's happening? She was helping. <laughs> 
and then basically then it refreshes I didn't touch anything whenever you're going through any of this process just trust it and do not refresh because I feel like that is where bad things happen and so I just kind of took my hands off and I got into the queue and I think I was around like I, put, I took a screenshot I think I was around like a thousand one hundred in the queue which was actually really really good compared to a lot of the things I had seen on TikTok so I was like, okay, this is good, good vibes. I am going to see how fast this goes. I'm going to hover. Another thing that I did was have the code copied already and like pasted if I needed to, but it was like copied and ready to go. So I quickly entered that and then I was able to get in the queue or I think that came after, I don't know, it was a blur. Anyway, the queue was going like somewhat fast and I was just kind of like ready on my trackpad, like ready to go. And I knew what section I wanted and I was gonna try the seat chart method versus the best available and so, when that very scary noise goes off and you're let in, it took a few seconds. It didn't like let me in right away. It took like a, a little breathing room before I was actually able to be in the ticket finder kind of window. And as soon as I was let in, I went right to the section I wanted, which was 139. I clicked it, I waited a second for it to zoom in and I picked four seats. And then I was like, oh, but there's a whole row available, like a couple of rows ahead of me. I went to go start picking those and they were like disappearing. I was like, absolutely not. I go back to my original row. I go one, two, three, four, and I hit the green checkout button. And then once you're past that, you were like safe, they're in your cart and like you have seven minutes or whatever to pay. Obviously I had all my credit card information. I was not stressed at this point. I was optimistic and I was just breathing. I was like, oh my God, we got four tickets. Okay. And then I like secure checked out and did all that stuff. And the rest is history. It was crazy. And I feel like so many people have had so many issues, but I was so fortunate and so lucky to get four tickets in the section I wanted. I'm pretty sure it's the most amount of money that I've spent on concert tickets, but knowing how I felt not attending the Seattle shows just like reinstilled that this was a really important thing to me. And yeah, we got them. I'm so excited. The show is not until November of 2024. So I have like a year and a bit to wait. And for those of you that are maybe doing the Avion sale, if you're local to Toronto or Canada and you're trying for that sale, I wish you all the best luck. Hopefully these tips still apply and you can get in. Cause I know obviously, like I said, I was one of two people I actually know in real life that got a pre-sale code and it wasn't even me as my dad. And so it, I hope that more people are obviously able to get tickets. It's pretty crazy, but I am also optimistic of the rumors that are going around of Taylor adding shows in Vancouver. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm just happy I have tickets now and I'm genuinely so, so happy with where we're sitting. It's gonna be so great. I could cry, I'm so happy because I have not been thinking about anything else for the past like two days. And again, I didn't wanna tell the vlog because I'm kind of superstitious like that. I didn't want it to like jinx it. So there we go. We have the Taylor tickets, life is good. And I have something to look forward to, which is honestly, so good for me right now. And now we'll see how long it takes my For You page to revert back to normal because all it is right now is the summer I turned pretty and Taylor Swift. It's like a back and forth between the two, which I'm not mad at. It was actually really helpful. Again, apologies if you maybe did not give a shit about any of that, but for those of you that did, I hope that was helpful. Um, now let's do a mall haul. I'll show you guys what I picked up when I was out shopping yesterday. I'm gonna start by sharing you a couple new pieces that Dynamite actually sent me, which is so kind. And they invited me to their new store opening downtown Vancouver at Pacific Center tomorrow. So that's an event I'm going to, and they kindly sent me some pieces to wear, which I'm so excited about. I love Dynamite. Their stuff is just so cute. This is the first top. It is like a knit tank top with like cream and beige stripes. It is so soft and so luxe. I feel like this is just like really a mature top, but like still cute, but like also rich. It's giving Sophia Richie. One of my favorite things to buy at Dynamite is their skirts. I just think they do such a good job, but they're such good quality. They fit me really well. And this is like a cream mini skirt. So it's not quite the same color, but I think it like matches enough to be a set with like lots of gold jewelry and stuff. And that's probably what I'll end up wearing tomorrow. But anyway, so cute. I, yeah, do not sleep on their skirts. They are so good. And then I also picked out this dress and it's so pretty. It's just this white floral. It is so cute, so flowy. I love the fit of it. The bodice, I think that's what it's called here, is really, really nice and flattering as well. And I just love the print. It's so spring, so summer. And I feel like I didn't really have like a just nice casual but like dressy dress like this if that makes sense so yeah I'm torn I'll either wear the dress or the two-piece but 
we'll see. If you saw my Instagram stories, you know that I picked up some platform Uggs. These were actually found at HomeSense, or Winners rather, and they had a bunch of different sizes pretty well, like at least one pair in every single size. I got them at the Canby location, but I wore my like fake Uggs that I got at like Superstore, I think it was, last year, like so much for going to dance in the winter. These are just like the best to slip on. They're so comfy, and I just, I love the platform. They're like slippers, and they're so cute. So, got those. They are not real Uggs. Uh, they were $60 but they are very plush and very soft so they feel very similar to Uggs um, cushion air memory foam whatever that means they're cute you guys saw that it popped into indigo yesterday and they had so much fall stuff already and I feel like I always want to buy like a pumpkin themed mug because if you don't know my birthday's in October I just I'm a big pumpkin gal I'm a basic bitch I love pumpkin spice everything and they had that one that I shared in the clip of like with the little pumpkin I thought was cute but then I saw this one and it says hi pumpkin and my dad's nickname for me is pumpkin I don't know if it is because of my birthday being in the month of October but he's always just called me that that. and so this mug is just so cute and I had to get it it was so adorable and it says it on both sides and they were all different like the ceramics were actually all unique and stuff which was really really cool so I like how neutral it is it's not necessarily fall but it's also not not fall so yeah it's so cute this was the beginning of my mood and my luck turning around yesterday when I went to go return the items to Zara I checked previously online to see if they had any other sizes and the Robson location had one extra large left and I looked on both floors to see and I couldn't see it and so when I was returning the items I was like can you check to see if you maybe have this blazer in like any other size and she's like we do have an extra large in our stock room would you like it and I was like absolutely and so I was able to get the blazer and I'm so happy it's so cute I have been wanting this for so long I had waited for it to go on sale it is the perfect pink color and I recently sold my other pink blazer that I own this one's quite a bit different in color and I'm just obsessed the extra large is so perfect I'm going to do a try on while I have a sweatpants shorts on but look at how cute it is with a little tie it's truly like the perfect pink color I just love the fit this is absolutely hilarious with my shorts but you definitely get the idea it is so cute so classy I'm obsessed the color is perfect the size is perfect it's just perfect 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 so yes extremely happy about that I'm so happy to finally have that in my closet because I feel like I truly had been wanting it for a while and now I'm kind of thinking maybe it'll be a good jacket to wear to Taylor Swift, so I don't know. Last thing I got was just a bra from Aerie. This was actually 40% off, which was really great. I didn't know they had a store on Robson, and they do now. So I got this white bra. I had been wanting a white lacy bra to wear under things because I have other white bras, but they're just plain, and so I got this one. It's kind of like a bralette. It does have underwire, um, but it's super comfy, so yeah big fan of that. I feel like this video has been so chatty so thank you so much if you've made it to the end, if you've listened. I appreciate you so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will chat with you guys in my next video. Bye!